Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a little bit of a story for you guys. Um, but before I go ahead and start the story, I just want to show you this current character. Um, he's level 78. The gear is not really that optimized, uh, but I just want to show you how it plays. So I'm going to run a tier 10 map. So let's pull out a toxic sewer here. And we're just going to shape it up. Uh, okay, looks good. Oopsies. Shaped, so we should have a tier 10 toxic sewer. And this is right now a flicker strike earthquake character. Honestly, you can pretty much use whatever skills you want. Uh, I'm currently using for earthquake, less duration, LA damage with uh, attacks, hypothermia, melee physical, and EQ. And then for flicker strike, I've got multi strike, melee splash, ancestral call, flicker, LA damage with attacks. The reason why I'm using Multi-Strike, Melee Splash, and Ancestral Call is this is only meant for AoE clear, and Earthquake is only meant for single target. Ooh, a strength map. The greatest threat, deep in dream, holds the key to another world. Okay, so then, now that that's done, I can go ahead and talk about the character a little bit. So if you want the links, remember, you can always go to my profile. This is Pox Staff. You can see everything there. So originally, this was supposed to be a Glacial Hammer build. Uh, I've spent over 100 regrets on the character, messing around with various skills. Now, the reason why it's not Glacial Hammer anymore, um, I did initially go all the way over here to grab the extra radius scaling, and I tried Glacial Hammer, and I'm going to be honest. It just wasn't good. It doesn't matter. I tried with Herald of Ice. Um, I tried scaling max AoE. I tried using Melee Splash with Ink AoE. It just doesn't feel good. It just feels really bad no matter what you do. The only solution, in my opinion, would be using something like an Impulsas or playing like a Gladiator to add on effect kill. But if I'm going through that much effort, I'm going to be honest, there's no fucking point in playing the skill. Might as well just play something else. So I have tried with pretty much every single like melee ability um i found out that static strike was actually really cool static strike is cool because you basically smack get your charges i specced into full skill effect duration and i tried static strike for single target for aoe clear and uh, i tried vol earthquake for single target and the only problem with that is even with both duration nodes specced and an increased duration gem static strike is only like 10 seconds long and since the weapon we're using which is stormwall attacks really slow it feels really bad and inconsistent trying to get the stacks up so then i was like okay i don't want to try that the problem with relying on vol earthquake for your single target is when you use vol earthquake if you saw the buff in the video when i was using it you basically every time you walk you create these steps and then your earthquake comes out periodically um if you're using reduced duration it lowers it so they come out quicker, more quick but you have a limited amount of them the problem is that it rolls crit right there so either all of your Vol Earthquakes crit, or none of them crit. If you're playing an Inquisitor and they don't crit, you do no damage. If you're playing an Inquisitor and they crit, they deal lots of damage. Um, so then I was like, alright, scrap that idea, let's try something else. So then I tried uh, Infernal Blow. Infernal Blow felt way better than Glacial Hammer. So I started playing that for a little bit. And then I tried Consecrated Path, and I said, wow, Consecrated Path feels really good too. The big problem with Consecrated Path, and the reason why I'm using Flicker Strike over Consecrated Path, is because... Here's pretty much my TLDR on why I don't like playing melee builds. When you play a melee build, you need to scale accuracy. 
If you're scaling accuracy, then you have a chance to miss a target. If you miss a target, you have to hit the target again, which feels really bad compared to playing a spell. You just cast a spell one time and you shit on the screen. So there are things like Ancestral Call and Melee Splash which fix that. So if you use Melee Splash and you punch a target and you, you know, kill the target, you're going to kill everything around it that's within the area as long as it's not like more tanky. When you use Ancestral Call with Melee Splash, each Ancestral Call will Melee Splash with you. That's the reason. And then if you add Multi Strike, it does it even again. So that's why I decided to use this. With Consecrated Path, you would blink to the target and smack. You would one shot everything. But if you roll a miss, if which if you have 90% accuracy, you're going to miss occasionally, then you're going to miss that target. And then you have to jump and smack it again. With a really slow weapon, it just doesn't feel right. And I can't support it with Melee Splash or anything else. I can use Ink AoE, but that doesn't fix the issue of that one target staying alive. So then I told myself, what's another thing I can use? And I decided on Flicker Strike. Now, this character feels pretty good, I'm not going to lie. But the problem with this character and the reason why... I won't really be playing it a lot is because of the following. If there is any boss with phases, then I lose my frenzy charges, I lose my endurance charges, I lose my power charges, then my build pretty much is shit because I can't crit. If I can't crit, I can't shock, which means I can't freeze, which means the boss is going to smack me in the face. So anything with phases feels really bad against this build. Also this character, like I said before, is not really super optimized. I just have like some, some basic gear on that I kind of crafted and, and rolled over. Um, so the, the, like this is garbage. Uh, the defenses of this character are really shit right now. I just wanted to see what I could get going with it since I scrapped the Glacial Hammer character. But the thing is, is if I was playing hardcore again, even though this is Flicker Strike, I can find, uh, or not even, you don't even have to play hardcore, but there is a really good way to play this character. And that is essentially shaping your Atlas so you can only have certain types of mobs or, or uh, maps and running those. So things like Haunted Mansion, um... Uh, uh, what did I just run? Uh, uh, fucking Toxic Sewers, um, Plateau, Atoll, maps like that, this build will feel phenomenal on. But other maps, it's just gonna feel really, 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 really bad. And because in this league I decided to go for a full Atlas completion, I just don't really have, like, I don't know, there's not really much of a point. Um, in playing this character right now. So I may end up respecting it again. I have so many regret orbs So I might just remove it and just make him a caster instead because like I said, I'm gonna be honest Just I'm not really a big fan of melee builds. They're just so complicated compared to casters Casters and trap builds are so much more simple. You throw a trap. It explodes. It hits the targets There's no rolling accuracy. There's no I mean you have to roll crit But a lot of the time I play damage over time and damage over time just feels so much better it's, it's guaranteed, you know, like you apply a damage over time, the damage over time is there, the targets will take the damage over time from it. So I might try to make a new character based off of damage over time. Um, I'm not really, you know, too sure, like I said. I still may do something with this character. I don't really know too much, but if you're looking to play a Flicker Strike build, uh, I've already run like tier 13, tier 14 maps at level 78 with the five, five link and six link. It works great, it's just for bossing, you're really squishy. And again, I could get to like five, no, I could get to like six, 7,000 life with this character by optimizing gear and stuff, but I don't want to play a build that is 100% reliant on flasks and then I get to the boss and I'm shit. It just doesn't feel good and I'm kind of over that, you know? Um, that's why I started playing the other two builds that I have, like Zug Zug, which is great sustain and which is the Shockwave Totem build and uh, the uh, Caustic Arrow character that feels great even without flasks. I also decided that I was going to move away from Pious Path um, just for, you know, just to try it. Going Pious Path is cool as well. Basically, the reason behind going Pious Path is you would get elemental immunity while you're on Consecrated Ground, and you could just use Consecrated Path, for example, um, and that would feel pretty nice. But, I don't know, I just, like I said, I just kind of am sort of losing interest with the character because of the whole, like, accuracy rolling and everything else. It's just kind of annoying. And there are occasional times as well where, like, you'll flicker strike three times and not crit, even though you have like 55% crit with a diamond flask with assassin's mark and and like you know I died to an inconsistency like that and I was just like it just doesn't it doesn't feel right to me you know I like I like playing more surefire guaranteed things but anyway I just wanted to give you guys an update with what's going on hopefully you know maybe you guys can try it out um, you know I know some people like this playstyle so you're more than welcome to and if I make any changes to the character I'll be more than happy to let you guys know Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. 
And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. And one more quick thing, I'll be doing a one-day Assassin's Creed stream in the next couple days, so feel free to check out the Discord or the stream title whenever I'm playing that. Have a wonderful time, everybody. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.